Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is ZKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Hello Baby episode 29 to 30. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I did the blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who are interested in supporting me and all my reads and all the contents that I do put out and giving you guys access, early access to all of them without any sort of censorship and no cat logo blurs. If that's something you guys are interested in doing, they're all available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Ooh. Would you like some coffee or tea? <clears throat> since, since you said you've been feeling lonely, so if you like to talk... Uh, uh? Hello, baby. Episode 29. Uh? Don't suddenly pull someone like that. Have you always been this super touchy? Oh, my glorious hair. <laughs> you don't like it? Th that's not the issue here. Don't worry. You're the only one I'm like this with. Always saying stuff like that. It really seems like you know just the right thing to make a woman spoon, huh? Don't say it like that, Gwen. I'm serious about you and you only. Uh, hmm, I doubt it. Plus, I've told you before, but I've only ever known being around women with my mom and my two sisters, plus Nana. Being used to being around women was a survival, survival tactic, if nothing else. You're pretty close with them, huh? With Nana and your sister, Faye? <laughs> She's a bit noisy and loud also. Overly energetic. There are times that she irritates me too, but I don't dislike it. I think that what makes us family. That sounds wonderful. You're going to be part of our family too. Well, I mean, you are a part of our family now. You're the mother to our son. That's an automatic in. Am I truly allowed to be a part of your family, Arthur? Of course. I'm sure they'll like you. The fact that she's like recalling how her step, her half sibling and stepmom treated her. So, how was your day? I feel like we're always talking about just me. Oh, I don't mind. I don't find myself that interesting, so. Please feel free to share your thoughts with me whenever. I can be pretty dense. So if you don't tell me how you're feeling, I won't know. And if it's about you, I won't get bored. I'm not saying all this just because I'm a little tipsy, you know. I mean every word. Um, my best friend said she's free tomorrow, so if you're okay with that. Sure. D oh, Arthur, he's just like that time. Did something happen? Uh, it's nothing. But maybe if you give me a kiss, that'll cheer me up. Uh, uh. Cheer up. Y yeah, but don't. And if it's nothing serious, you should go home now. Y yes, ma'am. Am I dreaming? I won't disturb Leon. Tell him I'll miss him, okay? Yeah, B be careful. I'll go on ahead. You can visit any time, as long as it's not like a bother for you. Oh. Wait, Gwen. Uh -uh. Th this have to do for now. Oh, translation. No lovey dovey. Bzz, bzz, uh, da. Translation. Interrupt. I must. He able to sense disturbance in the force. Leon, he's able to sense it, so we should stop for now. What is he talking about? <laughs> so maybe next time. See ya. Next time for what? For what? Uh. What was I thinking? This is bad. Ring. 
When we met again, I wanted nothing more than to hate you. Good night. That was way more convenient than being vulnerable about our situation. But whenever I'm around you, do you even know how much I have to calm myself down just to stand next to you, Arthur? Did something happen? Uh, auntie? Your brother. Does he really have an illegitimate t child? To be continued. Disturbance, I sense. Uh, and auntie? Your brother. Does he really have an illegitimate child? Hello, baby. Episode 30. <laughs> how, how does she know about that? Did my did brother tell her? Should, should I just act ignorant, ignorant for now? Mama, mama. Uh, what are you even saying, auntie? Uh, bro isn't even casually dating anyone. <laughs> Mom, let's, let's play already. Very well. Be Why is my family like this? Uh, what do I do now? I have to let Arthur know ASAP. Ugh. What will our exec board investors say if they find out someone in our own family has tainted these values? Oh, my late brother and I founded this business to construct homes for families. We always been prideful of our promotion of traditional family and principles. I've always had to cover up his misbehavior in order to protect our company's reputation. Our family's reputation. His mischiefs have never been this bad, though. <sighs> From that time. Isn't this too much, Camilla? Ron, my dear. It's only be the beginning. This do us nicely. But won't talking with Gwen directly be better? I'm sure if we explain to her why we need the money, she'll understand. She's your sister, after all. She's not my sister. Do you understand? I'm sorry if I... <laughs> You've never understood. Her mother stole other people's husbands. But it's going to be like her mother, like daughter, too. <laughs> Let's go. It's all because of her and our stupid father. How dare she? <laughs> Smile like that. This woman's crazy. <sighs> Thank you for waiting. <sighs> My pleasure. It feels nice taking a stroll like this with Leon, shall we? Is there any specific food I can cook for your friend? I'm sure she'll like anything we make. Ah, uh, Aga! Nana, Gwen! Carol was able to get off work early today, so she should be here soon. Though, I'm surprised Arthur suggests we meet at the apartment. Leon. Yeah. Let me carry that. Do I look presentable today? I try my best to not look too formal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just yeah? Think I should have cut my hair? No. Uh, I mean, no. You have pretty hair, so it would be a waste. Oh. Oh. To be honest, I think he looks good in anything. <laughs> but, but by the way, what about work? I don't want to be the reason you're skipping out on other responsibilities. I told you, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, she said that. I don't want you to be reason to be skipping out on other responsibilities. Poor Percy. Oh. By the way, I asked Gareth to pick up your friend at the her workplace. It should be here soon. Oh. Hey, he can't walk yet. 
I had already lost hope on any of this happening. Especially during that time. Fate really is mysterious, isn't it? I hope he and Carol will get along. Ding dong, ding dong. We arrived safely, Sir Arthur. So this is the place, huh? My name is Arthur Morante. It's nice to meet you. Oh, holy crap! He really looks like a grown-up Leon! Sorry for all the commotion. They prepared some really delicious stuff for you, though. Thanks, Gareth. I'm off, sir. Here, have a seat. Carol? Oh, if I may be so bold. What is the real reason you wanted to meet with me? Gee, really not beating around the bush. I... I'd like to marry Gwen. You too? And what did you just say? And if you're so keen on marrying her now, why reject us as reject us an audience when we first tried to reach out to you about her pregnancy? To be continued. He rejected an audience with them? Huh. Is that right? Or there's more to that? There has to be a miscommunication. There's, there's no way he would do that. Maybe. Alright guys, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time.